So today I am going to do this video to show you how to connect FR Sky to the MX Tandem receiver to the Icon 2 Fly Ballet. Well, first, we will need a TDMX receiver. This receiver supports two connection protocols. One is the s out. The other one is the smart port. This TDMX smart port supports the f bus protocol and includes the telemetry signals on the same wire. To connect this receiver to Icon 2, we have two options. One is to use the s bus. When we use the s bus, we only have one protocol for transmitting RC signals, no telemetry. And if we want to use the telemetry as well as integrate with FR Sky's radio, we should use the FBUS protocol through the receiver as part. This TDMS receiver is currently available in two versions. One version is wire welded, and the other one is connector based. Here I only have the version which is wire welded. Now take a look at these wires. The first one is the ground wire. The second one is the input wire for the power input. The third one is the smart port wire. And the last one is the s out wire. Anyway, we are not going to use the s out wire. We are going to use the F bus to integrate the telemetry signals. Well, first, I will connect the receiver signal wire to the icon 2. According to the icon 2 manual, the receiver needs plugging into channel 3. Look, you see channel 3? Here we go. Okay. I have to power up the BEC to get the RX working. Next, we need to reconfigure receiver to send the F bus signal through the S port. Okay, we are going to turn on the power to the RX. Eagles, Eagles. Not idle. Not okay, in the menu model, you choose RF system. Scrolling down, and you can see RX1 TDMX. Okay, now get into the option of the receiver. We need to get the telemetry on. Turn it on. The second one is the telemetry port. We should choose the F bus protocol. Then we connect the icon 2 to the computer via a micro USB port. We are going to open the icon 2 configuration software. At the RS option, I am going to switch the protocol to the F bus. Once we are done with that, we will go to the advanced menu to check it out. Go to the receiver menu. Check again if Icon2 has received commands from RX. Here we can see the channels have picked up the signal and started running. But here we have an elevator with the aileron running and the aileron with an elevator running. Due to the channel default of the current ethos firmware, the aileron is assigned to channel 2 and the elevator is assigned to channel 1 and now I am going to try and see if it's you see aileron stick left, right, left, right the elevator stick forward, back, forward, back the tail stick left, right, left, right and the last one the throttle stick up, down, up, down. Next, we will activate the telemetry and integrate on the RX. Once we have completed the setup for the Icon 2 configuration software, again, we go to model, telemetry, delete on the sensors, just optional, and turn it on in discover new sensors. 
and wait for the ethos to scan the transmitter to add the existing sensors. Once we are done, we are going into the LUA script to see if we have made the connection. So that's it. We have connected the icon to to the FR Skies TDMX tandem receiver using FBUS connectivity, including telemetry and integration with ethos on the FR Sky tandem TX. Goodbye.